This is the Holy Gospel according to Mark, the fifth chapter. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered around him, and he was by the sea. Then one of the leaders of the synagogue named Jairus came, and when he saw him, fell at his feet and begged him repeatedly, my little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her so that she may be well and live. So he went with him and a large crowd followed him and pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. She had endured much under many physicians and had spent all that she had and she was no better, but only worse. She had heard about Jesus and came from behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak for she said, but if I touch his clothes, I will be made well. Immediately her hemorrhages stopped and she felt in her body that she was healed from her disease. Immediately aware that the power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned about in the crowd and said, who touches my clothes? And his disciples said to him, you see the crowd pressing in on you. How can you say who touched me? He looked all around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling and fell before him and told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. While he was still speaking, some people came from the leader's house to say, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the leader any further, the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, do not fear, but believe. He allowed no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. And when they came to the house of the leader of the synagogue, he saw a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. When he had entered, he said to them, why do you make a commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. Then he put them all outside and he took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and, and said to her, Talitha kum, which means little girl, get up. And immediately the girl got up and began to walk. She was about 12 years of age. At this, they were overcome with amazement. He strictly ordered them that no one should know this. And he told them to give her something to eat. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ.